Uh, today has been a huge culmination for, I think, the crypto community and what everybody's been building towards for over 10 years. Um, I think Coinbase is the most publicly visible thing that's in the ecosystem today. And then I think what people will begin to wake up to, uh, perhaps starting with this direct listing, is how big the crypto ecosystem is and how much it is likely to grow over the coming decade. How big is it and, and how much is it likely to grow? Because I remember Brian Armstrong, your, your early partner, saying it could be worth a trillion dollars. Well, now it's, it's a $2 trillion market and growing. Right. It's one of these things where uh, when we talked about it early, it seemed insane. Uh, to give perspective, when we founded Coinbase in 2012, one Bitcoin was worth $6. All Bitcoin was worth about $50 million in total. And Bitcoin was the only thing that existed in cryptocurrency. Fast forward 10 years to 2021. As you said, crypto assets are cumulatively worth over $2 trillion. There are many of them. It's not just Bitcoin. And not only are we looking at the, the potential future of money, but also of the financial system and a new internet application platform. With that in mind, I was wondering what you thought over the next, let's say, decade, maybe five years to a decade. Do you, do you think the share price of your company will be tightly correlated to the performance of the underlying assets, Bitcoin in particular, or, or might they be even negatively correlated? Well, I think what we've seen in crypto over the last five years is uh, there is more of a diaspora. There's just a lot more going on. So I think if Coinbase does its job and executes well, it will continue on its mission to make crypto easy to use. And there will just be a whole lot more uh, to use in crypto. When we started the company, it was just investing. The idea of Bitcoin is digital gold. And if you look at the ecosystem today, it goes way beyond that. People are doing trading and lending directly on the blockchain, for example. And of course, there's the, the NFT phenomenon that's revolutionizing modern media. Um, so I think it will be less correlated to any singular crypto asset. Of course, it will be correlated to the success of crypto overall. Um, and that's something that I would be very happy to have exposure to. That's sort of what I was wondering, which is where Coinbase goes from here. We, we've seen the trading story and, and the juicy margins and the profitability and uh, the, the, the money you make on trading. But you've said that beyond that, it's an on-ramp to crypto. What, what exactly does that mean? Where does this business go? Well, so it's sort of inherently hard to predict what the future of crypto looks like, much like the Internet was hard to predict when it went mainstream as crypto is now uh, in the late 90s. I think the high level way to think about it is as crypto grows, there's going to be a whole lot more that happens in the crypto universe. Um, and that's hard to see today, but in 10 years, I think it will be very big. And if Coinbase does its job right, that means it's not just the easiest way to one click buy some crypto from your bank account, it's also the easiest way to use all these crypto native financial services and future internet applications. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.